Hey, this is Pete's Dude Man. We're back to Mass Effect 2, and uh, it's time to finish this mission. Uh, uh, apparently not. Uh, the door just closed on me. We'll do it, Zaid. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get a good old Mr. Sniper rifle, and apparently stand up as I switch weapons for some reason. Alrighty. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, right in the head. This is what we save our sniper rounds for. Oh my god! Uh, I think we killed her. Oh god! I'm right next to a Krogan. Ugh. Alright, now we gotta take care of this mech. Jador's dead. Still got this mech, though. Oh, and it is not damaged at all. Alright. I can hack it if we get its shields and armor down, though. Oh, I didn't reload, apparently. Oh, hey. It'd be great if I could go over there and get some of that ammo. Jeez, is it just me or is it tougher than usual? Okay, let's get some of this ammo. Okay, I got a couple another rounds. That should be good enough. Alright, one more shot off. Ought to finish it off. Alright, let's go ahead and hide. Alright, so I guess we better hurry back up to Okir. He sacrificed his life to finish his soldier, to finish his work. He killed thousands of his own people. He <coughs> sacrificed himself to save this. Delusional. Unlikely one Krogan, however strong, could have impact Okir wanted. Am almost certain. Suggest leaving it. Afraid he'll make your genophage obsolete? No, but Krogan genetically dangerous, socially dangerous as well. Have enough enemies without adding this. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieved. Sorry, Morden, my call. And he's a big one. <coughs> we came here for a Krogan? We've got a perfect soldier Krogan. We're not going to turn that down. Yep. All right. Back to Normandy. Do, 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 do. Well, we didn't get Okir, but we still got a Krogan, and that's still helpful. So, I guess it wasn't a total loss. Bringing the Krogan to study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. There's no way he's getting out unless one of us lets him out. Or unless Okir installed some sort of failsafe. 
or a malfunction causes the tank to shut down. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. Yeah. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. Well, I guess it's time to uh, debrief. I guess I'll go ahead and talk to people and uh, see what's going on. I guess we should talk to Morton about it all. Uh, research terminal. Yeah, we can get more sniper rifle damage now, which is nice. Which means, yeah, we can get the uh, AP sniper rifle. Awesome. What is that sniper rate? I have shot damage. Okay, cool. <coughs> Armor duration. Ship enhancements. Prototypes. Krogan vitality. All Krogan squad members get a plus 25% health. Hmm. Krogan squad members? Who could that be? Alright. What's up, Morden? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Wait, someone on the yeah. ship had sex with a Varen? Uh, that's unsettling. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. How are you doing, Jacob? Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Uh, maybe no one wants to talk yet. All right. What's up, Kelly? The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. Is that right? Well, we'll talk to him in a little bit. Elevator. You know what? Let's go ahead and take care of this Krogan business right now. I mean, it looks like Morton and Jacob don't really have a stance on it, so, I mean, whatever. I'll just do something with it. No sense just leaving it there. <clears throat> I mean, if it's going to wake up at some point, I might as well let it be on my own terms, right? So, uh, let's just do that. Is it in port cargo? Oh, yep. There it is. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Yeah. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are you. I think we can take it. <coughs> I mean, yeah, it's a tough Krogan, but I'm Commander Shepard. We'll either talk or fight. We'll be fine. I'm gonna let this guy out. I mean, Ergnot Rex was a really great ally. This guy's supposed to be the perfect Krogan? He could be a really, really great ally. Oh, uh, yeah. How's it going? Hello, my name is Commander Picard Shepard, and I would like to be your friend. Oh, God! <laughs> I am against a wall. I'm 
Commander Shepard, and I don't take threats lightly. I suggest you relax. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Okir? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with... So, he wants to fight, but he doesn't have a purpose. Well, maybe we can give him one. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Mm. Hmm. That's... See, all he needed was a purpose. We didn't need to get into a big fight with the guy. I'm glad you saw but we're ready for it. But we're ready for it. <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I, I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Well, uh, thanks, I think. Um, what's up, Grunt? That's where we're going with, huh? Grunt! Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. The humans talk too much, like the tank. Come back later. What are your thoughts about our mission? <clears throat> I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Oh, really? Used up when he Probably stuff him. like <laughs> Doe, Turians, Salarians, maybe even Rachni. Uh, what do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Anything in your tank imprint that can make use of the resources we found? Mm, might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Well, let's figure it out. Uh, I think he gave us a new prototype. Yeah, Krogan shotgun. It gives Grunt an amazing shotgun. Uh, wow, that's going to use almost the rest of our resources of platinum, isn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. Cool. You've got an awesome shotgun now, Grunt. Well, oh, nice meeting you. Let's see how everyone else is doing. I mean, as long as we're down here, I might as well talk to uh, Zaid and Jack and Gabby and Ken and blah, 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 blah. How are you doing, Jack? We haven't talked in uh, a while, right? Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least... <coughs> Relax. <coughs> doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. Yeah, I don't doubt that. So, I've been around, ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult, kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers, drugs and sex and going to a better place better place right it was all about money they wanted to take a colony shake the suckers down to fund their spread and guess who was their ace in the hole they were just like the rest didn't give one shit about me what did you do when you found out what do you think you must have met some good people too everybody wants something and because of that everything is fair game murder assault kidnapping drugs stealing arson done it all and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. 
I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism to that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. Yeah, Jack's had a really interesting they life. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. You're welcome. And fuck you too. <laughs> Alright, let's see who else we got here. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it could taste like mighty fine ass. <laughs> oh, man. Those two are always fun to talk to. Or listen to talk. Starboard Cargo, is that Grunt? No, no, no. Where at Zaid? What's up, Zaid? Yeah, I guess so. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they send you. Oh, okay. In there, you got two choices. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. I think I know which choice you picked. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on my shoulders. We had this whole thing going, until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the... I can imagine. I should let you go. Well, I guess Zaid has a thing for Asari, but, uh... I don't know, in this world that they've established, who doesn't? Um... Does that just leave Garrison Miranda? Yeah, we already talked to Jack. Yeah, we already talked to Jack, so... Garrison Miranda it is. And, uh... Oh, and Kasumi, too, of course. Yeah, we'll go ahead. If this episode happens to run a little bit long, that's fine. We'll get through whatever conversations we can. And we still have a few minutes left in this episode. So, it'd be nice to just get through that. I'm not sure how much anyone else is going to say. I have no idea if Miranda and Garrus are going to have anything significant to say or, or not. We'll find out. But uh, now that we've collected all the necessary crew members, uh, they said the elusive man wants to talk, and then we're going to go right into some pretty heavy plot stuff. So the collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. Oh, good. That's great news. It is. But I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Well, thank you. I mean, I am standing right here, but, I mean... Golly, thanks. Um... Let's see here. My support... I guess someone's gonna go there. This is Kasumi, right? What's up, Kasumi? I was just thinking about you. Oh, really? I have to say... That Jacob... <laughs> I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. I'm sure you can find out without him even knowing. Joker and Edie are like an old married couple. I keep expecting to walk in on them bickering about the temperature in the cockpit. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a person. But when it comes down to it, I can't get past her being a computer. Well, maybe we'll take care of that someday. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more. All right, Miranda and Garris. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Miranda, Andy, 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 Anda. I have no idea if she has anything significant to say to us at all. What's up, Commander? What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Nope. I kind of doubt Garrus does, but he might. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. Just doing what I can to help. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you yeah, later. I mean, there's less time to talk to people just because there's so many more missions. So, I think we've talked to all of our crew members for now, all the debriefing. 
Um, I'm going to go up and talk to Joker. So I will just see you guys in the next episode when uh, we're up to Joker. See you then.